What's going on, you guys? Coaster here, just talking about the loss. Uh, first of all, I apologize for last weekend. I had to, pretty much my voice was dead. It still kind of hurts right now. You could probably maybe hear if my voice is messed up, but yeah, some bad vibe going around here. I don't know what it is. But the first of all, just to briefly talk about the Chiefs, that that, that game was outcoached, outplayed. That third down and long touchdown sums it all up. They only played good for a quarter. The adjustments aren't there. And this, really, these two games against the Vikings and Chiefs shows the Raiders are not at that level. This is, at best, a mediocre 7-9, and 6-10 and 10 type of team, at best. I'm not impressed. And this is why I don't emotionally invest in this team, at least not with this roster. I mean, you can talk about, okay, it's good. This is a young group, a young roster, finally rebuilding correctly. But last year, you wasted a lot of that with a lot of veterans. So it's kind of a, a mood point at this rate. <clears throat> yeah, in short, the, the Vikings kicked our ass. There's no, no other way around it. I've, I had the Vikings as a contender for their division, so it's not that surprising to me that they, they came out and won. But I think what's going to hurt is this is the end of Derek Carr. This is the, the countdown is ticking. You've got 13 games left, and I'm pretty sure you're on death row. It's, it's pretty simple. Derek Carr's time in a Raiders uniform is going to come to an end because it's looking like a huge mistake. And this is before Gruden came is who got the contract between Derek Carr and Khalil Mack. That was, the, that was the debate a lot of people had, and right now Khalil Mack is the better player of the two. It's very clear as day when you look back. I think Derek Carr has shown he's just a game manager and he cannot make the rest of his players better around him. That, that's what I've been learning, really, in these last two weeks. I mean, I'm not going to fault him for that pick against the Chiefs, but really, it's not there. Since that injury, he just has not been the same, and he – I don't think there's any way to really defend them anymore. Uh, I mean, you've got 13 games to prove yourself. I don't think this team is done, but is this team good? No. That's the big problem. And the defense, this defense doesn't impress me either. I mean, it sucks that Abram gets hurt in week one. He's done for the year. But a lot of teams are going through injuries. It's just part of the game. And, uh, yeah, penalties were bad. That's, yeah, this team's got outcoached. Outcoached, outplayed. I've always been a Mike Zimmer fan with the Vikings, so I, I thought I thought he's a legit coach. A big reason why the Bengals had their little playoff run, or at least got in the playoffs under Marvin Lewis, it was Mike Zimmer who was really behind all that. So he's a good coach. They, the Vikings got their own problems, but you know Kirk Cousins, he's a quarterback who's got a lot of heat from his own fans, and the fact that he kicked the Raiders' defense ass today just shows how bad the Raiders' defense is. It is what it is, guys. There's nothing really to see here besides a mediocre group, maybe a group that's trying to play spoiler, but you got all these road games until November. Yeah, I consider that game in London a road game. So I don't know, guys. I'm just not feeling it. A lot of these guys are going to be here to collect their paychecks or play for a contract. I don't know how many guys are actually going to try to win because this is not good business. you got a coach that's being paid $100 million, and you're, you don't pay for mediocrity. That's not good business at all. and This team's not a, the joke or the worst team in the league, but it feels like it when you're, you're the head coach getting paid that much money. So see what it is. I'm just going to enjoy my Sunday elsewhere and enjoy other things because Raiders football is not on my priority, as it hasn't been since that Redskins game. That's Blame the Redskins game all you want. But ever since that blowout, I've just said this team hasn't impressed me, and I'm going to stay that way until – they get better. I don't think Carr is going to turn this team around, unfortunately. This is that point where they look lost. They look like they gave up, and now they look like they're collecting their paychecks. So uh, see you guys later. Let me know what you all thought of this game. I was not impressed at all, and you should not have either. So see you guys later.